Become a channel member and support the content. You also get access to exclusive videos. You'll get an emote next to your name in the comments. The link for that can be found next to the subscribe button or in the description. And beat the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new player review of a player that isn't necessarily brand new. But you may have packed him today as it's rewards day. You may be looking for a brand new left back. You may not have considered this guy because you can't pronounce his name. I know exactly how you feel. S2... S2... Punan? P Punyan? S2 Pinyan. I'm going to call him S2 Pinyan, right? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Who cares? So, 86 rated, Villarreal. Good looking card, actually. Very, very pacey. Very pacey. That's the first thing you'll notice about him. And of course, he has relatively good strength and aggression, 84-83. His stamina is good at 88. Could be better for a, an attacking fullback. And of course, he is used primarily in a five at the back formation so he is obviously going to be called upon to be making runs up and down that wing good passing though 89 crossing 89 short passing very very nice and great defensive capability apart from the interception which is a bit sad because i would much rather him have 84 interceptions and 77 heading than the other way around but it is what it is and then mid 80s Nothing crazy for the dribbling, which is fine. Uh, I, I'm obviously, you know, would be nice if it was higher. And that's the same with every card. But for someone who costs around, what, 25k, 20k, 30k, it's not a bad card at all. 86 rated, 30,000 coins, very, very fast, very good at tackling in general, quite strong, and a very good passer of the ball. There's not really much more you can ask for with a card worth 30,000 coins, is there? I mean... He's 87 rated uh, points per position without a chem style. If you give him a chem style, you can bump that up to 1991. That is a great return for 30,000 coins. And of course, that's going to be tradable. I highly doubt he's going to drop more than 20k. Even when there's nothing in the SBCs for ratings or anything like that, he can't go lower than 20k because he's an 86 rated card. So the most you stand to lose on this is going to be about 9,000 coins. That is a great return for a, a potential left back. If it turns out you don't like him, sell him, you lose 9k. What's 9k? You know, it's 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 not on not even to a casual 9,000 coins isn't that much. So on paper, not a bad card at all. Now I would never have considered trying him if it wasn't pack pulled. He was pack pulled on this account and he was thrown in there because of the icons allow any left back to go in there. I'm sure most people in this game whether it be through doing the SBCs, or whether it be through doing the icon swaps, have at least one icon in their team. At least one icon. I think every team I play has an icon in it. So you can get him on 7 chem, even if you don't have any La Liga players, you can link him to whatever icon you have in your club. If you're not using an icon, maybe you've had really bad, unfortunate luck, then, of course, you might find it difficult. His nation isn't friendly to link in, unfortunately, but... Um, yeah, I, I would imagine most people have got a way to be able to put him into a team. He is, he's solid, like really, really good solid, actually. Like very, very surprised at how much he was able to withstand, how many challenges he would be able to put in and then come out with the ball, how good he was on the ball, considering his stats aren't necessarily fantastic. He was actually a very, very surprising player. One of those that I didn't actually set out to do the review of. I did that with someone the other day. Who was it? Uh, Jao Cancelo. Jao Cancelo is a player that I reviewed uh, a couple of days ago. It did awful for views, which is, you know, is what it is. It's a, I wouldn't say it's an old card. It's just one that people aren't that uh, sort of bothered about. But that kind of proves my point. It's a card that I wasn't bothered about. He only got put into the team because we had an issue at right back due to a red card. He came in and he hasn't been able to be moved since. And it's kind of the same with Estepinian. This guy has come in. Just because, you know, why not? We can use him. We might as well. It's a, a card that was packed untradeable from the party bag. So just chuck him in there and see what happens. Turns out, actually a very, very good player. Honestly, there's nothing really negative to say about him. If I, if I mean, if I was being hypercritical, yeah, his interceptions could be higher. As a fullback, it's not that big a deal. Because the ball doesn't get played out wide that often to a, to a position where he could actually make an interception anyway. If he was a centre-back with interceptions like that, then you would be concerned. A CDM, he'd be unplayable. Because you can't have a CDM with 77 interceptions in this game, especially when you're playing champs up against Team of the Year cards, etc. It's just not feasible. So with that being said, 
yes, it wouldn't be a great card if he played anywhere other than a fullback position. But because he's in the fullback, there aren't that many opportunities for him to actually make interceptions in the first place. So it wasn't something that I was too concerned about. As you can see there, he's moved a little bit further forward. He came out of his position slightly, wins the ball back. We get it back here and we can move forward. Lovely little one-twos between Rooney and uh, Cruyff. And Cruyff misses an absolute sitter because life. But... In terms of the negatives, like I said, the the interceptions were, were probably the only like hypercritical thing I could speak of, and it's not that big a deal because he's a fullback. The other thing is if you like to rake really long balls across the pitch, you're going to find it maybe a little bit harder to do with Estepinian as you would find it with someone else. I've reviewed Fofana earlier today, both cards, 84 and 86. Both of them have the capability to smack a 70-yard pass from centre-back. Estepinian can do it every now and again, but his vision is low, his long passing isn't great. It's not advisable to eye up the top right-hand corner of the pitch and launch an over-the-top through ball because nine times out of ten, it's just going to go out of play. But that aside, if you're not into smashing 70-yard through balls and you're not into... Well, I mean, you will not be into interceptions at that stage. I think you've got a solid card here with very very good capabilities makes the odd mistake here or there with when it comes to positioning his defensive awareness is only 80 after all but if you give him the right chem style to bump that up slightly and don't slide out of uh, out of turn <laughs> i thought i'd throw that in there just because it was a it wasn't a good challenge it was a foul and it probably in real life would have been a red card but it looked good so i thought i'd throw it in there anyway you know i, I love a i love a dirty challenge every now and again but um don't be don't be afraid to use certain cards just because a nobody else is using them b they're super cheap so therefore there must be something wrong with it or c because uh it might be a little bit difficult to fit into the team maybe i can only get him on seven chem etc sometimes those are the best cards and in this instance i'm not saying he's the best fullback in the game I'm not saying he's the best card you'll ever use what i'm saying is i would never have used him if he wasn't packed untradeable and we didn't just throw him in there for a laugh we did. Turns out he's actually a very, very good fullback to the point now where he doesn't leave the team. Him and Cancelo were the new fullbacks and they were both put in there to plug a gap because we had very little in the way of option without going out and buying someone else or using a boring player like Mendy that we see in every team. Estepinian, very, very cheap. You don't stand to lose a lot of money and he's solid. And that, my friends, is the takeaway from this video let me know what you think of him in the comments whether you've used him or not and of course if you have used a player that nobody else really uses that you love and you can't understand why he's not more popular let me know that as well if you have enjoyed the video though hit the like button subscribe to the channel for new and until the next time goodbye join the betting rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth